What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are going to have a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. So we are going to get into two packs of Battle of Chaos plus two packs of Dimension Force, which is the newest set to be released at this time. And we're going to finish it off with my first display of, well this isn't a display, my first couple packs of Ghost from the Past 2. All right, so with no further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I think that we're going to start with Dimension Force because as far as I know, this set probably has the most lackluster pulls out of all. Um, I'm probably just going to undo the blisters as I open the packs, so hopefully you're okay with that. Um, I'm not going to be filming like a, you know, a blister opening montage or anything like that as I punch my camera. All right, so here we go. I'm not exactly sure what the best card from this set is. I've only seen like one opening, but I think that the Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord would probably be cool to pull. Although I think that might just be an ultra rare. Um, that's probably what I would probably want to pull. Wow, how many times can I say probably in one video? Let's maybe get a counter going on that. But I am a big fan of like the Red Eyes monsters, so I think that that would be a cool one. Oh, that's cool with um, Luster Dragon, or is that... So I'm playing uh, the Game Boy Advance game, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 Trials to Glory. It's like a 2005 uh, Game Boy Advance game. And in that game, this is called Luster Dragon number two. But I think the card might just be Luster Dragon, like in real life. So, oh, cool. Reverse Star. That's neat. And then we have a Super Rare, which I don't think is anything too special. And I think that's it for that pack. So I think we can probably take a few off the back. I would say Reverse Jar is definitely the best pull from that one. Again, I don't think Dimension Force is anything extremely special. Um, there are, are... Is there a Starlight or Starlights in this set? Multiple, maybe? Now, it does come with a foil in every pack, so that Super Rare is probably, like, the lowest tier of hit that we could possibly achieve. So, kind of a bummer there. But these are just little loose blister packs. So, not a ton to be expected. We'll just take four from the back and see where that gets us. Okay. All right. So, a Therion Reaper, Haunted Zombies, Scareclaw Acro, Pendulum Scale, VLAN Hydra. Okay. Prey to Plant, Mad Mauler, okay. Pillow. Oh, nice, and we've got an Ultra. So we've got a Punk Deer Note. That's kind of cool. So I will definitely take an Ultra Rare whenever we can get one. And now we will get into a set that I'm pretty excited about. Dimension Force is kind of meh for me, but Battle of Chaos is awesome. We recently opened a booster box of Battle of Chaos, and our Secret Rares weren't too bad. We did end up pulling the, I think I have it right here. We pulled the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, which is kind of a cool one. Um, if you're just going to get a standard secret instead of the uh, Dark Magician that or a Ghost Rare, that would be really cool. Or wait, does this have Starlights? I have no... I'll be honest with you guys, um, in terms of modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm very much still learning the ropes. I know a little bit about vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm actually going to open both blisters at once just so I don't have to mess with that as I, as I uh, start talking. But I know a little bit about... Like, the original Dual Monsters and GX era Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but not a ton about Modern. I have recently started playing Master Duel, so that has, like, kind of nudged me in the right direction. When it comes to, like, learning about the new archetypes and stuff. This pack is very loose compared to Dimension Force. That's interesting. But, honestly, out of Battle of Chaos, what I'm really after is that Bandai artwork reprint of Dark Magician. So hopefully we can pull that. Although another Blue Eyes um, Jet Dragon wouldn't be bad either. All right, Tribe Drive. Not going to say that one. Branded Disciple. Ooh, and a Dark Dimension Soldier. That's cool. And our last pack of Battle of Chaos before we get into Ghosts from the Past. Which I'm very excited about that as well. Now, I do know that we've been pretty Yu-Gi-Oh! heavy recently, and I just want to let you know that there's going to be some more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming in the near future, probably the next few uploads. I may try to, like, I may try to supplement the Yu-Gi-Oh! uploads with some Pokemon just so my audience, the portion of my audience who does not care about Yu-Gi-Oh! can still have something to enjoy, hopefully, from me, but I have been buying a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh! than Pokemon lately, so 
that is what I have to make videos with. And we have a Nordic Relic to end off with. So nothing crazy there. Hopefully we're saving the good pulls from Ghosts from the Past because this would be ideal. I think that the main pull here is going to be the Dark Magician Girl. Although, um, you know, any Ghost Rare would be sweet. I have actually never pulled a Ghost Rare, uh, which makes sense because I just said that I have not pulled... I haven't opened that much modern Yu-Gi-Oh, all in all. Um, I guess, like, the most I've opened is... Well, definitely that Battle of Chaos booster box is the most I've opened in terms of modern. But, you know, I've opened some legacy packs and stuff, but I don't know how modern that's considered since most of those were printed in, like, 2016, I believe, or 2017. Anyways. Oh, yeah, the Cyber Dragon's in this one, too. So Cyber Dragon, Dark Magician Girl. Is there a Blue Eyes? And then what is that? That's like the Arch Fiend, I think. So let's save the Dark Magician Girl pack for last, and we'll kind of open in the order of least cool artwork to most cool. Although I will say I'd be happy to open any of those Ghost Rares. <laughs> um, I have no idea what order these come in, so I'm not going to do any kind of card trick. And we're just going to get right into it. So advanced ritual art also if you see any like cool cards that i'm not like that i'm underreacting to please let me know samsara dragon that's a really long name so they what is this oh gene raider boss of light ghost trick dulahan dulahan and then we have a vampire sucker all right i'm not gonna ask any questions about that getting into the cyber dragon Speaking of Cyber Dragon, um, I've been re-watching the GX anime, as I think I've mentioned in a couple other videos. Um, oh, cool sandwich. I remember pulling this card when I was, um, like, from its original print. But anyway, I'm a little bit bummed out because Konami has all three seasons of the GX anime uploaded on YouTube. However, the majority of seasons two and three are hidden, and so I'm actually not able to finish that series, which stinks. So Konami, on the off chance that you're watching this... If you could please re- or unhide those videos, that'd be amazing. Oh, cool. Mystical Sand. That's a nice card, too. Oh, Malefic Cyber End Dragon. That's really cool as well. Probably no value to any of these cards, but the artwork is neat, so I'm setting them aside. As we get into our second to last Ghost from the Past booster pack, I should probably be more specific and say Ghost from the Past 2 booster pack. But speaking of booster packs... I should be having a pretty awesome mail day coming up pretty soon, so be on the lookout for that. I think that that would be super enjoyable for everyone. Whoa. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, another very cool card. And then Insector Hornet. Oh, and then one more. The Agent of Mystery Earth. Cool. And our last pack. So, I have no idea... If this is, you know, probably not going to have a Ghost Rare, to be completely honest with you. This is just from a random display at Walmart as I was getting groceries. I thought I'd pick one up, even though I could definitely get one cheaper on eBay. But here we are. Nirvana High Paladin. Very cool. Flint Krager. Krager. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we just got the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Ghost Rare. Oh my word. What? You've got to be kidding me. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. I think this card is worth about 60 bucks right now, which I think is one of the less expensive of the... Oh my gosh, I am... Holy cow. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of scatterbrained right now. This is awesome. The Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Ghost Rare. That this so this is the highest rarity Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And we just pulled it randomly. Oh my gosh, it does have a couple of white dots. I'm not gonna try to I'm not going to attempt to get those off. Maybe I'll blow on them. <gasps> yeah, they did not come off by blowing on them, but holy crap. Oh major scuffing on the back. Wow, that's that's rough. Oh, and you can kind of see that the text is like imprinted on the back. So ultimate rares, this happened on a lot actually as well. Oh my God, I don't even care. That is so cool. So this is the first, like 
good pull I've ever had from Yu-Gi-Oh! And this is like, this is the one. If I could get any ghost rare, like obviously the Dark Magician Girl is like the highest value one, but the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is so cool. Like this I can justify probably keeping for myself. And I don't even know, although it's pretty scuffed up, I don't know if this is like a good grading candidate. It's definitely not going to be a nine or a 10. Like this is probably a, an eight, I would say. But hey, maybe I'll throw this to CGC. I've got a couple other cards I need to send to them anyway. Wow, look at that. It's actually all dinged up up here too. Maybe this is best off just in a binder. But that's so cool because the, the, the two modern Yu-Gi-Oh products that I've opened... The Battle of Chaos booster box, and then this, I've pulled Blue Eyes cards from. And that is just incredible. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a note to end it on. That, that was the last pack of the box. That was the Blue Eyes pack, wasn't it? I think it may have been the Blue Eyes. I don't know. Maybe it was the Dark Magician Girl pack. But still, nonetheless, that is so awesome. Holy cow. Just take another look at that. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.